but I wanted to take a minute because I was doing two things. Um, the weather has changed again, and so I am not out in the wind. I was out yesterday. Um, but here's what I wanted to do. Um, I got so many comments on that on that last video I made. And, um, and it came to my attention that some of you don't understand that I have had the property up for sale since last July. That's a long time. You sign a contract. I was under the impression the contract was for six months. So in January, I was supposed to get a new realtor. Because in that six months, my property was never shown. And the only inquiries that she put through to me were people that wanted me to do owner financing. Now, I am not against taking payments. Oh, that's my alarm to stand up and drink water. <laughs> I contacted the woman that was my realtor. I texted her and I said, I want to drop the price again because I have dropped the price thousands of dollars since it was listed because I never wanted that much money for it to begin with, but she's the one that said you need to put it up here. Well, why would she do that? So she can get paid more. <laughs> but the point is, she never brought anybody out here. Nobody ever saw the place. There were a couple of people that inquired. Now, the problem with me financing it is that my if I was going to finance it and move three miles down the road, that'd be one thing. But I'm moving across country. If those people renege, I'm not going to have much recourse. And I can't afford to come back to Arizona and do things the property would still be my responsibility. Not only that, that's one issue. The other issue, and what am I supposed to buy with when I get to the other side? I need some money. Now, I don't need a million dollars. I don't need a hundred thousand dollars. I figured I needed fifty thousand dollars in my pocket. Now, I'm looking to move back east where I have no land, and I have no home, and I would have to set things up there. Now, in case y'all thought I was just being stubborn, that's because you didn't, did you not realize the property's been for sale? I moved into the tiny, moved my wood stove in here for the winter because I thought, I'll be able to keep it warmer and I can evacuate out of the, the studio shed so that when people came to see it, they could see it. it's a livable space. I know it's not much, especially in when if you're living in a real house. And why would I do this? One, I need water to survive. My biggest issues have always been with the water. Why? Because... I messed up the system. I messed it up. I used it. I was using it. Bob was maintaining it. When Bob died, things changed. I got that big water tank. And I wasn't treating the water in the tanks. And if you have water sitting in clear jugs in the sun, it grows algae. And then it starts growing something else that clogs your filters, messes up your pump, messes up your water heater. If it's coming out in my sink, if I'm getting algae clogging up the little screen in my spigot, I messed up the system. I'm responsible for that. And I am responsible for fixing it. So I have good news. The people that have been trying to help me want to upgrade me. 
I already don't know how to maintain what I got. And what I have is very simple. So, can we just keep it to what I got and I kind of understand how it works? Yes. Yes. It is going to get cleaned out properly. My tanks are going to be cleaned. And right now, there's this much water sitting in the bottom with algae and something. And we determined that you can't just dump the water. The tanks are level. So it goes down to this point, and now you need to tilt it and rinse it out. Well, you can't do that with these tanks. What needs to happen is a vacuum cleaner, which I have. I bought it last year. It's a shop vac, and it's supposed to pull out the water. That's one thing to get all that ugh out of the bottom. But back up a little bit, I also bought a pressure washer. It is on its way. And the pressure washer is going to help me get it off the sides, down into the bottom, take the vacuum and suck it out. Then, we're going to put up, I've got shade cloth. I couldn't figure out how to do it. I kept thinking the wind, and is it going to be enough? And they convinced me. This will work. And this is how you, we can do it. And they're going to help me. So, the whole area, instead of trying to paint the tanks that I cannot get out of those holes. So, I have plans to get my water system fixed. Because, not because I want to stay here, but because I need water while I have to stay here. So, my property is for sale. I'm hoping that I can get, oh, did I tell you that? I texted her and asked her about, I want to drop the price, and I would like to uh, have an open house. And she replied, no. She said, they don't do well. Open house does not, she would drop the price, easy peasy. I don't even, all she's got to do is send me an email, and it's done. But come out here and run an open house, she ain't going to do it. So I said, okay, it's time for me to get a new realtor. <laughs> and so I emailed the realtor in town. that I. This is not the video I had planned on doing for y'all. <laughs> but when I kept, I kept seeing in the comments, you need to just go. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I've got a trailer to put all my stuff on. Ken's ordering me tires. He found a really good deal on tires. I'm going to send him the money. He's getting me four new tires for my truck because they've been sitting in the sun for five years. And But you can't, they're not to be trusted sitting in the desert sun for that long. And I thought, I need new tires. And I won't put them on until I'm ready to roll. I've already got new tires on the Tiny. I ordered those months ago, and Ken came over and put the new tires on for me, and I'm just blocking them from the sun. So I have the trailer that I haven't started loading yet, because those tires are really bad. Really, they're worse than either of these, because Bob used it, it was a, the water haul trailer. So I took the tote that was on there. I, t I didn't do anything. I asked them if they would do it, and they did. <laughs> so they put the tote next to the big water tank and just set it down on pallets. And they pushed the trailer over here in the yard. And so I asked Ken, should I get the tires before I load the trailer? And he said, well, it'll make it easier. And I also need some extra height on the trailer sides. So I got something to strap things to. Because it's, it's real short. It's got this much metal. And then I need, you know, about a foot, 18 inches more. Um, to kind of hold help hold things in. So see, I planned the move. <laughs> I guess I've just told my kids. I guess I haven't shared it with y'all so much. And so I made sure 
that I could load that card up because that's what I intend to do to get everything up off the ground. When it got moved over there, I, number one, I wasn't living here. Number two, it was the winter, so it wasn't an issue for snakes. Now it's an issue, or it, it could be, because I am parked in a wash, which is where the snakes like to travel through because it's cooler ground, you know, in, when it gets hot. Now I've still got time. So, what I own on the property and what I will need back east in order to start over again. And yes, I am fully aware it is not good to be this alone on a daily basis. It's just not. And I realize that. I've always known that. I didn't come out here to be alone. I know that there are people that think that I don't even like people. No. <laughs> but yes, I understand. I need fellowship. And sometimes a phone call will do, but not always. Someone asked me, not someone, my, my son, one of my sons-in-law asked me uh, what my retirement plan was. I said, well, I'm kind of living it. I wanted to own my own home the property I lived on, and all I'd have to do is pay taxes. I figured I could come up with that much in a year's time. And, you know, the rest was I'd just survive on what I got. And the thing is, I can't allow myself to get involved here. I haven't been able to do that since last July. Because any minute, I'm going to leave. I'm hanging in limbo, and I can't do any more to sell the house than what I've already done. Of course, right now, she's taking it off the market. So, I got to, I don't know what to do. I mean, I don't, you know, I'm not going to hound you about come sell my property for me. <sighs> I've only tried to do the right thing. And it is not right of me to walk away. I can't just walk away. Where would I go? Live on the road? Live in somebody's driveway? No. Well, I could live at Molly's, but only for a certain amount of time. And it ain't mine. I wanted to leave my daughters a little inheritance. That's why I wanted land. So, I leave something of value behind to my children and my grandchildren. <sighs> yeah, I get lonely. But, most of the time, I'm okay. I got my dogs, the ducks, and I got things to do. And this has turned into a massively long video. And I hope that you have watched all the way to the end. <laughs> At least this part, anyway. Because <laughs> I do calm down after I get myself expressed. I'm sorry. I used to say that in my family growing up, whoever was loudest and angriest got hurt. And you know the voice in my head? It's my mama's voice. And you know what she said? If you would just learn to keep your mouth shut. And now I've got a YouTube channel, mama. <laughs> and I get to talk and just say whatever comes to mind and then go back and take out all the stuff that don't apply. <laughs> so it's good for me to make the video. It's kind of like therapy. And yes, I want to be back in the real world. It's going to be hard. It's going to be very hard to live where there are people might be there every day in my life. That would be so... <laughs> I'm sorry, as long as the people are my little grandchildren. <laughs> no, I, I have not even tried to imagine what it will be like because it's painful to not have it. And to realize, time is short. I'm old. This is a hard life. 
and there's rattlesnakes. So I want to enjoy every moment that I remember having, but I don't want to dream about too much because it might not never happen. But if I ever get over there, my grandsons, my granddaughters, they're going to help me build me a place. Yeah. That's why I bought them little plans for and stuff. So I'm planning on it. Have y'all ever had to wait for God's timing? You ever had to wait for His timing in your life? Sometimes I act like a three-year-old. And what you saw the other day, that was me being three. Nobody loves me. Everybody hates me. I think I'll go eat worms. <laughs> okay, y'all. Enough of that. I love y'all. I hope you still love me. I'll see you next video. Bye.